Conservatives in America. They're not all religious zealots. They want financial independence and believe in self-reliance, self-discipline, and competition. Work hard, save money, invest, and protect your self-interests. They're not all angry white males. Though some are. In fact, there's a lot of Americans who are fiscally conservative, but socially liberal. To some, conservatives want the best for the country, both long-term and short-term. They want to keep America, America. Today, we're going to talk about the cities in America with the biggest conservative populations. Now, as you may know, most of the large urban areas in the USA are very liberal. That's just how it is. Most conservatives tend to live in the suburbs and in rural areas. Just look at the map. In order to rank the American cities with the biggest conservative populations, we just had to see which cities voted conservative. To make it more relevant, we're only measuring places with populations over 250,000. As you can imagine, there's many small towns and villages in rural America that are essentially 100% conservative. Good for them. So let's begin our tour of the most conservative cities in the U.S. of A. We begin our tour of the most conservative cities in America in one of the most contentious states of all, Florida, and in one of its largest cities, Jacksonville. Of course, when you think of Jacksonville, you think of rednecks, which are very much Trump supporters. Of course, Florida is an income tax-free state, and there's an active military presence in Jacksonville too. The number of conservatives in Jacksonville is about half, which may not sound like a huge number, but is for what's the largest city by area in the contiguous United States. For comparison, America's most liberal city is San Francisco, where 86% of the population votes for democratic causes. Of course, Florida has become a battleground state, or a purple state, or a swing state, whatever you want to call it. Florida is actually one of only a couple states on this list today that isn't a hardcore red state. In 2000, in Duval County, where Jacksonville is, Bush got 47% in Jacksonville. In 2016, Trump got about the same. So it's not changed much in the last 20 or so years. And of course, there's far more conservative areas in Florida, but they aren't large cities. Take, for example, Cape Coral and Gulf Breeze. Basically, where old white people live. We're going all the way up to the cold white north for our next most conservative city in America, Anchorage, Alaska. Population, 300,000. Here, the conservative vote is slightly higher than in Jacksonville, but by a mere fraction of a percentage. Here in the Anchorage metro area, it's very conservative. In 2008, 75% of the Anchorage metro area voted for John McCain. And more recently, in 2016, it was also 75%. So, the folks in Anchorage aren't changing their ways at all over time. For comparison, there's entire cities in America where the population votes 75% conservative. These are smaller cities, so they didn't make our cut population-wise. But if you're interested in moving to MAGA country, you probably want to live in places like Lafayette, Louisiana, or Tyler, Texas. Overall, while the state of Alaska is very conservative, there isn't a city that's more than 70% conservative in the entire state. Interesting. Did you know Alaska's only voted for a Democratic president once? No way, Mappy. Let me look that up. You're right. Alaska only went Democrat once, in 1964 for Lyndon B. Johnson. Makes sense. Who would vote for Barry Goldwater anyways? So how's it going, Mappy? How's your baby boy doing? You were worried he wasn't yours, weren't you? Well, there were a couple of other guys who were trying to get in on my game, so I wasn't sure. But overall, it's nice to have another member of the family. I'm glad you're happy. Happy Mappy. So what's his name? Have you thought of it yet? Oh, God. Mappy has his hands full. All right. So we're going to move on to our next stop along our, our train in America, in the only other state where Republicans don't have a stronghold on our list today. We're stopping in Colorado, and in particular, Colorado Springs. Colorado Springs is one of the largest hubs of evangelical Christianity on Earth. This, in addition to the extreme military presence, makes Colorado Springs a stronghold for conservative and traditional thinkers. Now, Colorado Springs has a much higher conservative population than many other cities we'll talk about, at 57%. However, Colorado Springs has been leaning very heavily left of late, so we ranked it much lower than many other cities for this video. Check this out. 
In 2000, Bush crushed the general Colorado Springs metro area with 72% of the vote. But only 16 years later, Trump barely won the county with 47% of the vote. That's a huge difference. Colorado is also the only state we'll mention in this report that Hillary Clinton took in 2016. So it's pretty obvious that the very left city of Denver is impacting the voting patterns nearby. As you can imagine, we're going to see quite a few cities in the heart of Texas on this list. We begin our list of cities in Texas in the conservative, wealthy, Dallas-Fort Worth suburb of Plano. This is home to football, churches, and money. It's very middle class, white, and suburban. As a whole, Texas is the 10th most conservative state in America. Although when you're in most of the rural areas, you think you were in Ronald Reagan's living room. Collin County, where Plano is overall, leans Republican, and Plano proper is 55% conservative. This city of 270,000 is exploding population-wise, but there's rumblings that this once very right-leaning haven is getting more and more blue over time. It'll be interesting to see if that really happens. Plano sounds like my kind of place, but we have four kids now, and I don't think we can afford it, so I'm going to have to get a job. You're getting a job, Mrs. Mappy? Doing what? I don't know what I'm going to do, but I don't want to get my hands dirty. Okay, Mrs. Mappy, please update us on your job quest, okay? I doubt she's going to take a job where she has to answer to somebody or she doesn't feel important. Do you agree? Let me know in the comments below. Hee-haw! It's time for our next most conservative city in America. We don't have to go too far. In fact, I'm foreshadowing when I tell you that we're only leaving this general area of the country two more times. Here in Oklahoma City, it's about 52% conservative. Trump took about 56% of the vote in Oklahoma County in the last presidential election, but Bush carried 74% of the vote in 2000. So it's far less conservative here than it once was, as more liberals flock to the state's capital. But look at all those pretty shades of red. Oklahoma's going to be just fine. Of course, Oklahoma City's rich in cowboy culture, and the area is awash in oil and gas money something that keeps the unemployment rate low and ensures it's the most recession-proof city in America. We're heading west for the last time on our list as we mosey on down to the state of Arizona and take a pit stop in Mesa. Here, it's 54% conservative. Trump took Maricopa County in Arizona, but it wasn't nearly as easy as when Bush won in 2000. Overall, of course, Arizona's a hard right state. Scottsdale, Gilbert, Chandler, and Phoenix are all fairly conservative, with about 48% of the population voting for Republicans. If you want to go hard red, Bullhead City rocks the R vote with about a 73% conservative population. Go west, young man. Haven't you been told Arizona is full of people who cast conservative votes? You like my singing? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so our last stop before we head back down to the South Central U.S. for good brings us to our fourth most conservative city in America, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Here in this I still care about values and keeping America great part of the Midwest, conservatives rock the conservative vote to a tune of 57%. However, George Bush, too, had 72% of the vote back in 2000. So Fort Wayne is becoming less conservative or was Al Gore just a big jerk? Let's call somebody in Fort Wayne and ask them why they're so conservative. Hello? Hi, is this someone in Fort Wayne? Is there a mustache in Mexico? So why are people in Fort Wayne so conservative? Let me tell you why. God said we should have protection under the pillow and all babies' lives matter. Okay, thanks. Trump 2020! Okay, there you go. If that doesn't sum up rural Midwest peeps, I don't know what does. We're going to round up our most conservative cities in America tour with three more cities, all in the same general area. Our first stop is in Fort Worth, Texas, population 880,000. Here in Fort Worth, it's 58% conservative. That's a lot for a large city. In 2016, nearly 6 in 10 voted for Trump. Back in 2000, nearly 80% voted for Bush. But that's understandable since he's from Texas and they love some bush in Texas. Fort Worth and the surrounding Tarrant County eek conservatism. I mean, this is home to Texas Christian University. Two of those words put the R in right. 
Fort Worth is the fifth most Bible-minded large city, and over 46% of residents identify as highly religious here. The city's famed Fort Worth stockyards are an example of the locals' pride in its Western heritage, as well as its cowboy and cowgirl past. Alrighty then, who is our second most conservative city in America? That would be Tulsa, Oklahoma. The second largest city in Oklahoma, Tulsa is known as the oil capital of the world for most of the 20th century. However, sadly, Tulsa is becoming less conservative. Tulsa County supported Bush at a 74% rate in 2000, but Trump only got 58% of the vote here in the latest election. What are they putting in the water in Tulsa? Snowflakes and butterflies or what? However, once again, we'll take a look at this map. Look at those pretty shades of red. Here's a fun fact. There's a place called Woodward, Oklahoma that's basically 100% conservative. I'll bet they're a real delight over supper. Where's our most conservative city in America? That would be Arlington, Texas. This Dallas suburb is about 61% conservative, which is super high for such a large urban area. I've been sent to send a message. Mmm, God bless Texas. For Americans frustrated with their state's liberal politics, the suburbs are the place to head to in Texas. They offer the affordable housing and access to well-paying jobs that have not been stamped out by overregulation and high taxes. No, this is not a paid endorsement for the Texas Suburbs Commission. But here's how conservative Texas is as a whole. Arlington, which is the most conservative city in the nation, isn't even in the top 100 in Texas when you measure all the cities. There are some teeny places in Texas with way more Republican Party supporters. I'm going to the big D and don't mean Dallas. George W. Bush may live in Dallas, but Dallas belongs to the Democrats now. However, neighboring red cities like Plano, Fort Worth, and Arlington have Dallas surrounded, offering conservatives an expansive urban refuge unlike anywhere else in the country. All right, so that's it. A look at the most conservative cities in America. These are the places that are most likely to support a Trump 2020 run and to keep the White House right. I love our president. I love God and working hard for my money. Yeah, I would never vote for a Democrat. They stink. Good points, kids. Good points. Hey guys, if you learned something new or you just like this video, make sure to like it. And if you really like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get all of our videos about what it's like to live in different places in America. Peace.